Hello to all students. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss respiration in insects with special reference to respiration in cockroach. Insects belongs to phylum Arthropoda and there are so many different types of insects and different types of insect usually have same mechanism of breathing respiration with few differences. So today we are going to discuss this system in an insect which is known as cockroach. The, the respiratory system of cockroach is composed of tracheal system and this system is mostly found in uh, most of the arthropods in animal kingdom. Tracheal system, to understand the concept of tracheal system, first of all we have to look at the cross section of the body of a cockroach. If you look at the body of a cockroach, this is the cross section of the body of a cockroach. This is the anterior end, this is the posterior end and these two sides are the lateral sides of the body. Tracheal system of the cockroach starts with openings which are known as spiracles which are present on the lateral sides of the body of the insect. So if you look at the lateral sides of the body right over here and right over here you can see tiny openings in red. These tiny openings are known as spiracles. There are total 10 pairs of spiracles. As you know that cockroach has three main body region head, thorax and abdomen. There is no spiracle in the head region but there are two pairs means four spherical present in the thorax which are known as sp1 and sp2 sp1 spherical 1 spherical 2 they are known as thoracic spiracles and they are two on either side so there are total number of four spiracles while rest of the spiracles are present in the abdominal region which are known as abdominal spiracles which start from sp3 to sp10 these spiracles sometimes are guarded by small bristles which prevents dust and water to enter in the openings of the spiracles. These spiracles leads into a tube-like structure which is known as main tracheal trunk which runs from anterior end of the body to the posterior end of the body. These tracheal trunks are present also present on the lateral side of the body. As you can see right over here, this is the first tracheal trunk which runs from anterior to posterior and this is the second tracheal trunk which is main. All these spiracles open into these tracheal trunks. Then these tracheal trunks give rise to tracheae which are connected with each other from both sides with the help of commissure tracheae. And these tracheae then branches into smaller tubes which are known as tracheoles. Tracheo, at the end the tracheoles are blind ended which opens into or penetrate into tissues of the body or the muscles of the body like muscles of the wings or muscle of the legs or body muscles. So this is the main structure of tracheal system. To understand it more uh, better way, I have taken an example of a tracheum, tracheal system from right over here and enlarged it. So this is the opening of a spherical from where air is going to enter. At the opening there are, as I mentioned earlier, there are bristles which prevents water, dust and other particles to move into this system just like the nose in our hair, just like the hairs in our nose, pardon me. This uh, spherical has an opening which leads into a tube-like structure which is known as trachea. This is a main tracheal trunk, main tracheal tube. Uh, along the, alongside the trachea there are epithelial cells and uh, there are also some lining 
some rings present in the trachea which are known as tinidia which helps to uh, which helps to avoid collapsing of these tubes during the process of inspiration and expiration just like the rings present in our windpipe these trachea leads into smaller tinier tubes which are known as tracheoles which opens uh, blind ended into the tissues and into the muscles of the body as you know that their blood is hemocele most of the uh, gases are diffused into hemocele and from where gaseous exchange will takes place there is also some fluid present which is known as tracheal fluid inside the tracheoles which uh, helps to make uh, gaseous exchange uh, easier so in this way this is the anatomy and uh, uh, morphology of tracheal system present in most of the insects now let's uh, discuss the mechanism of respiration as you know that every respiration has two main steps inspiration and expiration after gaseous exchange so first of all we are going to discuss inspiration intake of air as you know that air contain uh, oxygen and oxygen is very important for the body tissues and body muscles for the metabolism so there are different theories but first of all we are going to discuss one of them that uh, from spiracles and anterior four spiracles four pair of spiracles from sp1 to sp4 which are air is going to enter inside the body of the insect 1 2 3 and 4 the muscles present uh, alongside uh, these spiracles which regulate the movement of air into and out of the uh, spiracles there are spiracle closing muscles and there are also expiratory muscles which regulate uh, the movement of air and uh, according to the direction from central nervous system so air is going to enter into the tracheal system and after gaseous exchange then air will move out from the body from posterior six pairs of uh, spiracles as you, you can see right over here from sp5 to sp10 air is moving out when uh, air is moving in these spiracles are closed and when air is moving out side the body then first four pairs the spiracles first four pairs spiracles are going to be closed now how gaseous exchange is going to takes place when air enters into spiracles it leads into main tracheal trunk then main tracheal trunk air leads air goes into tracheae from all over the body and these tracheae leads into smaller branches known as tracheoles these tracheoles open into tissues and muscles where gaseous exchange will takes place oxygen directly diffuses into the cells and co2 is taken and uh, along with the air it is expired from the body well there are some other insects which use uh, passive pump mechanism in this process co2 produced inside the body is converted into bicarbonate ions and oxygen coming from the air inside the body is diffused into the cells for the purpose of metabolism so there is a vacuum created so this vacuum will pump the air from outside environment into the body this is called passive pump in this way some insect use passive pump mechanism to bring air into the insect's body while some other insects they use wing muscles or legs muscles when they fly uh, to contract and relax the muscles of the body to bring air inside the body and expel from outside from the body so that's all for today i hope it makes sense hopefully see you in the next lecture bye